Hi, today's a short little video to show you how I took a board like this and transferred an image on it like this. Check it out. Okay, first I'm taking two 1x4s and running them through the table saw until I have two parallel edges. And then I'm just taking uh, some Tight Bond 2 and edge gluing these panels together. This is a pretty simple um, panel glue up. And you just want to make sure that both uh, edges are parallel to each other. And then just clamp them together. All right, now that the, uh, the board is dry, I'm just gonna take a uh, random orbit sander and just uh, get all the glue off and sand the uh, boards down until it's uh, nice and smooth. I think I started with uh, 80 grit sandpaper and then I think I moved all the way up to uh, 320. It made for a really nice uh, smooth to the touch finish. And it was also uh, a nice uh, surface uh, for the ink to transfer on later. Look, that seam almost disappears. Okay, now I have to take this into the house. Oh, there's Naughty, everybody. I learned about this technique from a woodworker on YouTube named Steve Ramsey, and I'll include a link to his video in the description. Okay, so now I'm uh, preparing the image to print. Okay, so what I'm doing here is... I'm using a, a, a technique of transferring the image onto a piece of uh, label paper. I actually peel the label off and I use the paper underneath um, to apply the image. And as you can see, my first attempt didn't work out too good um, for a couple reasons. It wasn't straight, but there was also these little lines, and that was because of perforations in the label uh, to help make it uh, easier to peel off and I didn't want that so I actually went on Amazon I ordered some paper that uh, like this that didn't have any perforations in it and it actually it worked out really well the ink prints on to the back of this this backer paper right here onto the waxy backer paper you actually just take the label off and throw it away and it works really really nice the key is you can't touch it or smudge I have no idea what happened here I think it might have gotten a little wet uh, I did have to print it out a couple of times, but after a little bit of trial and error, uh, I had a nice one print out, and uh, we'll see how it turns out here. You want to be real careful when you're lining it up, because once part of that ink touches the wood, you can't lift it up or move it around because it'll smear. I think that a light colored wood would probably be work best for this technique um, and I found that using an image with a lot of contrast uh, really works well uh, and if you use anything uh, with words on it you want to make sure you reverse the image in uh, whatever um, image editor you use and if uh, you uh, decide to try this yourself experiment with different types of images um, and I, I did a few times I even uh, messed up once or twice and took the board back out sanded the image off and tried again and you can see some of the detail. Um, it's uh, some of it's a little bit blotchy, but that's sort of part of the artistic charm of the piece. Um, while I was at it, I also decided to uh, make a uh, sort of a flag plaque uh, for my mom. And I just used the same process. This time, I used a piece of tape um, on the side, and that helped me keep everything lined up. Uh, and that actually worked out pretty good. All right, and back out to the shop. Oh. 
And here I'm just uh, using the miter saw to clean off the edges. I'm using a quarter inch round over bit on my router and just rounding over the edges. Yeah, the vibration of the table actually made my camera start to drift. Now all I'm doing is just taking some sandpaper and smoothing over the edges, um, eliminating some of the tool marks that the router made. I think I sanded this down to about 220 grit. Oops. And now for the spray lacquer. It requires a lot of shaking. I had to shake that can a lot. When you're using spray lacquer, you want to use a lot of coats. Um, the can says you want to wait about 30 minutes in between coats. Um, all the YouTube uh, woodworking professionals I've seen uh, have said you can just wait until it's dry to the touch, which is usually five to 10 minutes. Shake. More shake. Must be muscle memory. And after the spray lacquer dried, the last thing I did was take these, uh, they're called sawtooth hangers. Uh, they're pretty much the, I'm sure you, everybody's seen them on picture frames. Uh, they come with their own nails, and you just uh, nail them onto the back of the board. Pretty simple. And here we have it. A reminder to everyone, never skip a meal. Okay, here's the finished product. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, this is going to be a Christmas gift for a friend of mine. Uh, it was really simple and it was uh, a lot of fun to make. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe to my channel, and uh, don't forget to share. And remember, if Scott can, you can. So here we have the final product, or the finished product. And then uh, I got the little uh, picture hanging thingy right there, which is the technical term for it. If you like the video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe to my channel, and...